Are you feeling the joy of Christmas already tarnished? It's that time of the year to be all fuzzy, drinking hot chocolate, singing songs about a red fat man breaking into your house and spending time with family members you can't stand at all. But it's not all chocolate and insufferable people on Christmas, my little obese reindeer-shaped cookies. It's also a time to reflect. Reflect on how much or little progress you've made in your life this year, what the next year will bring us, and how nice or naughty we've been. That's right, I've been watching you, my little eggnog-filled tanks. And I'm sad to inform you that you're all naughty little goobers. Nah, just kidding. But who really is the naughty one here? You see, we've conducted a little Christmas experiment. We tried to find out who is naughtier, PvP players or PvE players. For those little poggies that don't know, a PvP invader invades the world of a PvE host to unalave him and take the reward. But that doesn't mean that they can't be civil during the bash. So I tasked the jester to name himself in a very jolly way and go out there to find the nicest of the nicest and the naughtier of the naughtier if they're good, well-mannered boys, they get a present. If they're not, they get death. So let's help Santa fill his list, shall we? Before we begin doing Santa's elves work, the mystery weapon of our last video was the Erd Tree Great Bow. Big congrats to the chubby snow poggies who answered correctly. Stay tuned until the end to play another game of mystery weapon. The first naughty boys we're gonna examine are the infamous bad red men. You know, those pesky red grinches who try to ruin your co-op run and your Christmas? We'll see how many of them are nice and how many of them are naughty. Let's begin. The first bad red man shows up in the distance and the jester cordially greets him on a nice Christmas Eve. The bad red pustule has different plans, though. He buffs up his twinking stick without saying a word and attacks the jester. The message is very clear. This is a fight to the death. The naughty red man takes a beating and starts regretting not having levelled vigour while he panic rolls into the North Pole. Eventually, he gets away and cowardly sips on his eggnog stash. Why am I not surprised? The naughty red uses the power of the North Pole and free freezes the jester's balls, forcing it to sip some of Grandma's orange juice. But a little bit of snow up the urethra won't be enough to stop the jester from reminding this naughty bad boy of the spirit of Christmas. He perishes with a warm, fuzzy feeling inside him. This invader was... Naughty. Our second guest was camouflaged in the night, and he greets the jester, almost giving it a heart attack. The ambiance is calm and fuzzy. Friendship is in the air, and the bad red man understands the jester's intentions of spreading the spirit of Christmas. They exchange gifts and some emotes, and everything was said. It was time to... The match is pretty even, with both contestants using flaming strike. The bad red man has the upper hand initially, but the jester starts to understand the latency between them both and with some well-timed spacing. Yes, you can space attacks with latency. The jester regains the upper hand and manages to win the duel. This invader was nice. As the great evening advances, another red ghoul joins the jester's world with very clear intentions. War. The jester picks up the present so the angry Smeagol doesn't steal it. As for the nasty ghoul, in Dante's game, I'm sad to say, he's reached the final level. Perhaps the best Christmas gift he can receive is a written reminder of levelling vigour. This invader was... Naughty. Our next guest is wearing a reindeer costume, which is quite fitting. He surrounds the jester with shiny Christmas stones and offers him garments to perform some sort of dance-off. The jester accepts sensing the good vibes of the eccentric guest, and a sort of weird pagan ritual commences with bright lights, naked dancing, and torch dueling. Eventually, the guest ingests a piece of the Taco Bell menu and combusts shortly afterwards. But as it didn't work, he decides to dip. Hey! I'll be guessing this invader was... Nice. Our final red-coloured guest shows up with the spirit of Christmas inside him, leaving violence in second place. For now, he accepts the jester's gift and nods and jumps. After all the Christmas traditions were met, it was time to rumble. Flaming Strike buffs the weapons of both the jester and the guest as they start clashing at each other like rabid baboons. Backs and forths were had, but the jester gained the upper hand after landing a devastating true combo. Eventually, the Christmas-spirited guest was felled by the jester. This invader was... Nice. From this sample, we had three nice invaders and two yeah. naughty invaders. Sometimes the bad red man is not that bad. He's just playful. So the PvP players get presents this Christmas. Yeah. 
It's now time to test the PvE players, so off we go. For the PvE players, we'll categorise them as nice or naughty, depending on their reaction to the jester. Were they civilised? Then they're nice and presents will be given. Did they start attacking like crackheads? Then they're naughty and death shall be provided. The first batch of PvE players are found in Siofra River and they're surprisingly friendly. The jester gifts them with big quantities of runes for being nice little poggies. But as it is customary, after the Christmas cordialities, a duel to the death must ensue. The first PvE player clearly had too much Christmas turkey because he was fat rolling all over the place. The jester helped him excuse himself to his world. He clearly needed some rest. This angered his friend who apparently received Gus from Burke's sword for Christmas, but his clumsy movement sealed his fate immediately. Finally, the host tried to reign supreme by wildly swinging his bloody candy stick, but sadly, that didn't cut it. However, we can all agree that these players were... NICE! The next batch of chronic droolers spots the jester and decides that peace was never an option and attacks on sight. They need to be taught a lesson in manners. The phantom seems to be visiting his family back in Neptune for the holidays, or at least that's the vibe his connection is giving. Nevertheless, quick work is made of him and that only leaves the bad-mannered host to be taught not to be naughty. Although he seems a bit confused about what to do now that his friend is chilling with this Neptunian family, so he just gives up. These PvE players were naughty. The gingerbread goobers visiting the Weeping Peninsula chose death over gifts, so the jester intended to provide their Christmas wishes. The pea-coloured clown here was clearly some sort of genius engineer because he managed to make an Atari controller work in Elden Ring. I mean, it's the only explanation I have for him to be mashing L2 as if it was the only button he had. But it turns out that no. He can actually dodge and use items, so I guess he wasn't as smart as we thought. He also wasn't very fast, as he disconnected after perishing instead of before. A blue, fat, rolling Christmas ornament joins the fight only to make a fool out of himself, leaving his host trapped in a corner, panic rolling for his life. Needless to say, these PvE players were... Naughty. For our next pair of goofy, adorable gamers, we find two of them running around the Siofa River. The jester greets them, but they don't have time to greet back as they've been bombarded by glowing candy dill They reach a point where they're safe from the shower of deadly genitals and finally greet the jester, earning their precious Christmas runes, but not without falling for a bit of tomfoolery from our dear jester. These PvE players were... Nah. And for our final pair of lost little poodles, the set of the story is none other than Storm Vile. And if you've watched this video before, you know what that means. The jester greets and it is greeted back, so it delivers on its promise of delicious Christmas runes. They even look like the cookies Santa eats. Now that the courtesies were taken care of, it was time for mischief. The jester earns the trust of the PvE players even further by disposing of the birds that want to steal Christmas and guides the PvE players towards the magic spot and all it took was one gesture to throw the PvE players into the gift they needed the most a bath in case you didn't know this wall is glitched and jumping over it will have you falling into the ocean it is safe to say that these PvE players weren't very nice she's a chair. If we had to draw a conclusion out of this experiment, what can we find? Two out of five PvVP players were naughty, and two out of five batches of PvE players were naughty. What does that tell us? That none of the groups of players are intrinsically bad, tarnished? Sometimes people will just be rude no matter their background, but the majority of them were nice. That's why it's important to surround yourself with friends and loved ones, especially on this holiday. So have a nice toast with them, Tarnished. Make these moments last forever as memories. Little ravioli. It's 4 p.m. Time to play mystery weapon. Judging by the stats alone, what weapon is this? Leave your answers in the comments below and the winners will be featured in the next video. And if you enjoyed this one, feel free to leave a like, a comment and share it with friends. Consider subscribing to Only Waifu for more videos like this. Merry Christmas, my little snow raviolis. And as always, thanks for watching.